Denmark or Sweden, I just spread the virus around the forests with the dormant bacteria and I come back. And I can wait if I like 100 years, 200 years or two hours. Makes no difference to me. And then all I have to do with harp or a similar device is put the frequency, the microwave frequency off the ionosphere down onto Norway whenever I feel like it the virus will spring to life because their host has sprung to life this is where we are so countries can now just by introducing bacteriums and viruses and whatever they can totally devastate uh, the economic possibilities of another country but doesn't that mean that we are in a new cold war and that the entire military is obsolete? Oh, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> we are in a new Cold War. Um, and this is why countries um, are developing this. I mean, really developing this. Uh, and this is why all of the microwave transmitters are going up everywhere. Uh, because somebody, if they wanted to, could use them for other effects. The system is up and running. In a three month period, I had five lady police officers in this house, all with cancer. I've had a series of calls from officers saying that their personalities have been changed. Uh, whenever I go to a country, uh, and I did, I think the year before, I did six countries, I think last year or the year before, the questions always come around to Tetra and they always come around to aggressive behavior from the police since they started using Tetra. And I have the government documents that say this can cause neurological damage, this can cause cancer, this can cause uh, aggressive behavior and personality changes. Uh, this was at the beginning of the experiment and the experiment with Tetra is not due to finish until 2018. So it's an experimental system. Um, the United States one uh, was, was quite interesting. <clears throat> it was to do with special forces uh, probably five or six years ago. They came back from a mission and of the six or eight gentlemen that were in the special forces five of them i believe went home i think it was five or six went home and severely <coughs> beat their wives or children or both where some of the wives died some ended up in hospital but they were severely beaten and it was believed that the communications apparatus they were using uh, was in training the brain and stimulating violence. And this was Fort Bragg. Now, I either had a phone call from Fort Bragg or I had a phone call from the embassy to ask if I knew what frequencies could cause this. Um, because I ended up talking to each. And I said, don't tell me, I will tell you what frequencies they have been using. Now the special forces don't just hold them up, they're on permanently. So we're talking massive entrainment, far beyond what the ordinary person would suffer. But it induced such a level of entrainment and violence. <clears throat> so I wrote, I, I told them uh, what frequencies I believe they would be using. I sent them documentary evidence and the whole thing uh, was, was hushed over and it, it was on the news but then 
they obviously, I would imagine, change the frequency. It's been shown that a child using a cell phone, just an ordinary school child, if the child uses the phone for just two minutes, the brain waves can take up to two hours to return to normal. Two hours. And that's been published. Now, in those two hours, the child's brain is not acting as it should and it could demonstrate itself in a number of ways. For instance, if, if the child were in school and made a quick call from the playground, it could be lack of concentration, hyperactivity, bad behavior. It could be anything like that. And that would slowly ease off over two hours. Now that's just from two minutes. Now, if a child makes a phone call every couple of hours, the brain is going to be entrained permanently. And it's already been published by the industry that a child uh, using microwaves just before bed will have his or her sleep totally disrupted by entrainment. I cited, I think, 200 schools in Europe where a transmitter had been put in or near the playground where they had leukemia clusters. Um, some of our own MPs here have stood up in Parliament to say that they have 11 children under the age of 11 with leukemia around a transmitter or 18 children. I mean, it, it's so. I mean, cancers are reaching epidemic proportions. There are lots of different types of cancers coming up now. I would think, I know in China, they've just had a 3,000% increase in parotid gland cancer, which is the side of the face where you would hold a mobile. Uh, we're getting cancers of the eye coming up. Obviously, brain tumours. In fact, brain tumours are quite quite enormous now in, in terms of numbers that uh, I read a report and I read this out in Canada last year um, people are so worried about the numbers of brain tumors that they've re-diagnosed 10,000 brain tumors as endocrine cancers to take them off the statistics and I do know that in the European Union, uh, we have been told that cancers are at epidemic proportions. Uh, and we're talking generally cancers between the ear and the brain. Years ago, our government said to its scientists, when it comes to microwaves, uh, you will only talk about things to do with heat. And that is it. So they won't even discuss anything else. They will deny anything that doesn't have anything to do with heat. They even, dis they even deny all of their 40 years of research leading up to this. Yeah. Although they said this can cause cancer and all the damage, they say, no, it can't. We're only looking at heat and heat is all that matters. Yeah, yeah uh, um, I prefer to call it lying. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I've never known so many liars uh, in my life as what is coming out now right. from the government. Mm. Uh, 
they, I mean, to put it simply, they did all the research, they knew the dangers, and then they decided to lie to the public for no other reason than to, prov to save themselves with lawsuits and to make money for industry. And that's written down, and I've got that written down. Okay. Um, so for the last <clears throat> 40 years, the government, the English government, has been lying to the people. And the American government, the Canadian, the Australian, they have been lying. Uh, they have been lying to protect industry, protect their profits, to protect themselves from lawsuits. Uh, so it, it, they are really just liars, <clears throat> and, and it's provable. I, I, I made a statement in Birmingham, in this country, probably 15 years ago, uh, and I haven't changed it since, and I've said that I believe that this industry and the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. And with the growth of the industry over the last 15 years, I would say now that these people are probably going to cause more death and suffering than the entire Second World War. And is that genocide? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. And are they going to get away with it? Yes, because they are untouchable. They are outside the law. Who is actually behind those decisions? Is this sanctioned by the WHO? Sanctioned by the World Health Organization without a shadow of it. It is the same people. Um, it's the same people sit on the ICNAP certificate, they sit on our government's health protection agency, sit on the World Health Organization. Uh, it's the same people. It's the same people. There's probably no more than 20 of them. <clears throat> But they, yes, they are going to, in my opinion, commit the worst genocide this planet has ever known not just people but animals plants they are probably going to cause more destruction uh, than a global war and in several hundred years time uh, people will look back whoever survives and look at what we try to do to stop them Operation Paperclip, at the end of the war, uh, the scientists were pardoned, most of them. They were pardoned for all of the people they had killed, experimented on. They were given new identities, mostly in the United States. Uh, they were given new identities lived an ordinary civilian life, very well paid, and they went to work in laboratories for the American government. And they handed over all of their research, and this is where it came from. And this was the basis of all of this, Operation Paperclip. If they could catch somebody and keep their name secret, mm -hmm. that was Operation Paperclip, and they took them back. They took them back and they kept them. They used all of their resources, mm -hmm. uh, and there was a lot of scientists. They used all of their resources, uh, and, and that was the basis of the mind control, the drugs, and everything else. I, I do know one experiment, just to give you some examples. They, they, I know that they found that um, with, with one of the subheadings <clears throat> was... Uh, the microwaves on pregnant women and they found that <clears throat> they could cause a, a 50 po 
57.7 increase.